Okay, hi again. Video number two. Um, I've been looking at my numbers and um, uh, the the first soap cat bites I did the first video like that got a lot of views. So I figured I'd do a number two. I might turn it into number three, number four. Who knows? But um, okay. So I had this idea to go back into 90s soaps and it's gonna rain, range the gamut from Melrose Place to Dawson's Creek to One Tree Hill although I know that's like 2000s but a little bit of Beverly Hill 90210 everything because I'm starting to see and I have seen before the uh, correlation between Daytime and nighttime soaps. And really, when you look at it, anything can be considered a soap opera at some level. Um, okay. The reason why I want to focus on Mower's Place is because it started when I was a little kid. And I didn't see it in its real run, first run. But I've watched it several times over the years. With a couple of years in between, like every couple of years, I'll watch it again and see if it still holds up. It still holds up in some places, and in some places it's dated. But, you know, that that kind of goes with um, when you're dealing with a decades soap opera. So, like, in the 90s, they talk about fashion and stuff like that, or, um, you know... A certain fashion trends that you wouldn't be caught dead in or or maybe certain things do come back but only for a little bit and stuff like that so but um I was thinking about it because Heather Locklear was named the um I don't know like the the ointment for soaps that were in trouble um so that was her role and she started in season one, but kind of late. But then she was considered a special guest star from then on. And at first, you think that she's just a one-note character. But then they start to flesh her character out more. And she had a lot more secrets than people thought she had. So that made it more interesting. Plus... They, they just made, they gave people backstory, i say, in season two. Season one was nice and everything. And and it got you in the door and you understood who the characters were. And you kind of rooted for characters and everything. But it wasn't until season two that they started giving families. And the fact that you would think that this person, like Allison Parker, um, Courtney Thorne Smith, which... What it was an amazing actress in the soap and is an amazing actress, um, gave her the storyline of being abused by her father, but that didn't happen till season two. Um, you know, and the storyline of, um, Sydney. Well, I mean, they kind of fleshed out the storyline for Sydney, Laura Layton. Um, but, she was like the kid sister who was more annoying to her other sister, and no one really. It was like, oh, Sydney, you know, just go on and don't bother me too much, kind of thing. So she always had the um, idea of trying to keep up with her sister and trying to do better than her sister, kind of. But also, people used her, so she always felt like she had to get out of jams. Um. But as far as cat fights, okay, I'd say the biggest cat fight for Miller's Place would have to be, well, anybody and Amanda, and also Brooke, um, Brooke Armstrong Campbell, because she started out Armstrong because she's um, related to Haley Armstrong, and she became Campbell because she and Billy got married. Although it was a manipulation, so I don't know if that counts, but, um, yeah. So, she would fight with anybody, 
um, about Billy. Because she just wanted Billy all to herself and stuff. And I don't think, I think that's why the relationship didn't work out. Um, you know, I'm not saying that these people are bad actors or actresses. Because also you have to put in to account the ages of the actresses and stuff. And Kristen Davis back then was really young and kind of a new, um, new to the acting field or business. So, you know, she was just getting her feet wet. Um, but I just remember, you know, people would be mad at Brooke and they threw her in the pool and, you know, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, but that's how she died because she, she fell in the pool and she hit her head and it was too much and they didn't have the ambulance there in time, so she ended up dying. Um, okay, another one was, um, let's see, who, oh, Marcia Cross, who played, um, Kimberly Shaw. Kimberly Shaw, Mancini, and she was also involved with Peter Burns, played by Jack Wagner, for a minute. But they were involved. They never got married. But, um, oh, I was also watching season two back again today. And there's one episode where Kimberly Marsha Cross shines. Okay. The episode is The Witch. Only they say the other word is back. And this moment happens at the very last, like, two minutes of the show. Because she's been having headaches the whole time. So, she uh, teases herself to the bathroom. And then she takes what you see as, like, pills. I think it's, like, aspirin, but I don't. I think it's something stronger than that. Okay? But she takes her hair, and it's a wig. She takes the wig off. And then you see the scar on the side of her head. Now, when they first did it, filmed it in 1994, this was massive. It was like, must watch. You know how they used to say on NBC, must see TV? Okay, this was must watch TV, whatever, because it was on Fox. Everybody wanted to see because they're like, oh, a big moment this week. Watch. That kind of thing. Also, Kimberly was the one who did the explosion and blew up the whole building in season, the end of season three. Yeah, she um, she detonated the whole building. And it was because a voice in her head told her to get revenge on all her enemies. So, um... Yeah, but as far as cat fights, I mean, <laughs> you want a cat fight, just watch in Melrose Place a couple weeks, you'll get a cat fight. It was either Jane and Sydney, Sydney and somebody else, Michael and somebody else. And so this was <laughs> cat fight palooza. Although, not cat fight, because cat fight is usually two women, but fights. Because everybody fought with somebody at some point. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to focus on uh, all the stuff from the 90s. And I might throw in a couple of 2000s. Um, because I just want to go deeper. And I think that there's some people who might be interested in that. So I think I'll do it for the rest of this week. And... Probably next week. I don't know. I'll see how far I get. But um, I already got some ideas for other things. So it might be another show that I do. That I, I uh, put into the rotation. So. Alright. Bye guys.